Okinawa Prefecture known for its beautiful beaches and ocean. Japan has a long history of salt making. Today's Takumi makes very tasty salt in a very special way using seawater. Let's go meet him. This is today's Takumi, Masataka Takayasu. He makes salt using a very unique method. This is the salt I made. It's so fine. What surprised me most was the salt's fineness, more like flour than salt. The Takumi dissolved regular salt in one glass of water and his salt in another. The glass containing the Takumi's salt stays cloudy. This is where the secret lies. But first, let's watch as I taste both glasses of salt water. First, the glass with the regular salt. Mm. <laughs> it just tasted like salt. Next, the Takumi salt. It's good. I can drink it. It's not too salty. That's so strange. My salt is full of minerals. That's the difference. The Takumi salt contains 21 minerals that are originally found in the ocean. A full 25% of this salt is made up of these minerals. They are what cause the water to become cloudy. The Takumi salt is sought after by many famous restaurants around Japan. We asked one local chef why he likes it so much. I use this salt because it's uh, rich in flavor and it brings out the flavor of the food. How is this salt so rich in minerals produced? We were taken to the manufacturing floor. This is where we make our salt. Wow. It's amazing! So this is all salt? The floor is covered with salt. And the walls and pipes are too. It looks like snow. How is this done? Because it's a company secret, we can't show you in detail, but it involves spraying seawater mist. Warm air at 50 degrees Celsius is blown with the mist. In an instant, the water vaporizes, while the salt and minerals that were dissolved in the water fall like snow. The room is completely white, the water has vaporized, and the mineral-rich salt is what remains. How is this different from conventional salt-making methods? Well, in Japan, the most common way of producing salt is the ion exchange membrane method. In this method, ions are gathered between two electrified sheets, creating salt-rich water. The salt is removed from this salt-rich water and refined, but salt produced this way has almost no mineral content. Many people think of rock salt and sun-dried salt as being mineral-rich, but actually, these kinds of salts contain less than 10% mineral content. It took more than one year for the Takumi to come up with his current production method. This is one of his first test machines. It's a fan! A can with holes in the side is placed in the center of a fan. Seawater is placed in the can and the fan is turned on. Centrifugal force pushes the water out the holes and it is misted by the fan. The Takumi thought that by then warming the mist, he could make salt. So he made a larger version of the machine. But the salt crystals lumped together, blocking the holes. But when the Takumi made the holes bigger, too much water escaped. To solve the problem, he came up with this disc. Water is placed in the center and it is spun. The disc has a one centimeter hole in the middle. 
So when it spins, centrifugal force pushes the water out through the gap. When these drops hit the outer wall of the disk, they become even smaller. Each droplet is just 0.01 millimeters. When the droplets are warmed, they easily evaporate. This is how the Takumi figured out how to make mineral-rich salt from seawater mist. It's a totally new way of making salt. He says it's always important to consider manufacturing from the ground up. When you come up with a new idea, you need a foundation. Solutions don't just pop into your head. You have to try lots of different ideas. You have to have a goal in mind as you try out different things. That's what's important. 